Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all-important comic book review so you the fans can make a decision on what comic books to buy. And today guys, we're talking about Superman, the coming of Superman. Now, I was really excited for this series. Um, this kind of reminds me of back in the 90s where we had Superman who got destroyed by Doomsday. And then we had the reign of Superman. And we had that story go on for a while as you get to see different Supermen uh, being introduced into the DC Universe taking Superman's place. And that was a really interesting story. And I love seeing all those characters. I mean, we got Radicator Superman, Cyborg Superman. Uh, we wind up getting Superboy, uh, you know, so we wind up getting all these Supermen out of this whole thing. And um, and so I was like, oh, this would be a lot of fun to see if it's like a similar story or whatnot. So really excited about this one. So this one is done by uh, Neil Adams, and uh, I think he did the artwork on this as well. Yeah, and I think I uh, saw uh, Tony Bernard and, uh, yeah, did this too. So, uh, you know what? The artwork is okay. Um, at times, I thought it was it was fine. Um, and then there was other times where I thought, you know what? Superman kind of looks a little weird in this book. Um, you know, you get to see the weird mouth and whatnot, you know. But it's a little heavy on the inks and some of the, the character um, – like the body seems a little bit off and like the op the objects that he's using to destroy like missiles and stuff seemed a little off. Um, but it was OK. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't bad, you know. So, um, again, some panels were great and some panels weren't. So what did I think of this overall story? Let's kind of recap it a little bit. Um, this story, all of a sudden, you wind up seeing Lois Lane. She's kind of doing this news broadcast on here. And uh, you wind up seeing these supermen come in this weird spaceship. And they're in this, like, weird armor. Why they're coming, though, I don't really know. And we don't really get the answer to that as all, at all. And they wind up having this, this ship. And uh, it's they wind up cloaking it so no one can see it. And it looks like, I don't know if they're looking really for Superman himself, uh, but Apocalypse is coming and all his uh, parademons are coming and they're like, oh, for Darkseid. And then they just start attacking the Earth. And so Lex people, Lex Luthor's people tries to save the day as well. And of course, Lex Luthor's kind of like, ah, you got to have me save the day because Superman's an alien and here we have aliens invading and this and that. But his people become unworthy. They can't save the day. And then you wind up like seeing Lex Luthor going, come on, what are you waiting for? You guys are here. And then you wind up seeing these supermen come. And they're not different whatsoever. They just have different hair. And one is like African-American. And uh, we can see that they're new to Earth. Their powers aren't refined. They're not used to doing things because they're being exposed to the to this yellow sun for the first time. They defeat Calabac, you know, pretty, you know, not – they defeated him with kind of Superman's help later on in the issue. We wind up seeing uh, this story of where the real Superman is and he kind of goes and he saves this kid. And uh, why he saves this kid, I, who knows? You know, what, like what's the purpose of him saving this kid? It's because he winds up running into this creature who's named the Messenger – and he just sits there and says, I deliver messages, but I can't tell you, you know, and he's just like, OK. So he feels that the kid needs to go with Superman and Superman needs to watch over him. So he takes him to the Daily Planet. He winds up, Clark winds up going and sees that these guys are here on planet Earth trying to save the day against these parademons and, and everything else. And I'm just like, okay. It just was just kind of just all over the place. I'm like, what is this? We got Calabac and the Parademons, these weird Superman just here. Um, you wind up seeing that uh, – you wind up seeing that – Superman goes back into time for some reason and he winds up meeting Darkseid's father. And so I was just like, why? What? What's going on? I have no idea. And, uh, and why he's doing all this stuff. I, I was just completely like lost. And even at the end, it says, a boy and his dog? 
Three Superman? A tyrant with a hidden past? Can Superman solve the cosmic riddle of the Sphinx? Because the Sphinx was a lion and not just whatever it was? Yeah, I don't know, man. I was just kind of... When I got done reading this book, I was just like... I, I'm confused. I don't know what I'm reading. Why are these Supermen here? Why do we have old guys taking pictures of the Superman? Uh, just like... Why is like... Dark Side's dad a pharaoh? Like, what's going on? I don't know. I'm lost. And I, I was just like... And the artwork is okay. I'm like, this is something completely different than I expected. So... Uh, in the end, I I just thought it was bad. I I, I gotta give it like a two point seven five out of five stars, and maybe I'm being gen you know generous here. I mean, who knows? Uh, I guess you guys are probably wondering, will I be reading the second issue? I think I might. I I think I just might give the second issue a try to see if it kind of unravels the mystery a little bit here. Um, and see if the story kind of comes together and who these supermen are and where they came from. And in fact, I think one of these supermen's names was called Rayo. Aren't we reading another story in JLA that's a guy named Rayo and he's like completely different? I don't know. I mean, it's, is this how crazy the DC universe is at this point in time where we even have same characters but one's a superman and one's another dude like I I don't even know anymore that's why I cannot wait for DC rebirth so we get a continuity again so yeah 2.75 out of 5 stars for me guys um that's all I have to say about this book it was just kind of weird and uh I don't know if you guys agree with me on that Tell me what you thought of this particular issue. Were you on the fence about buying it? Now this review made you stay away from it. Um, again, just throwing my two cents out there, guys. Again, leave me those comments below. And fans, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. Until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Take care, fans. Bye.